Today we're gonna to be raising Sino, at least trying to. We haven't made a ton of progress. I'm honestly happy to farm Scarabs if I don't have to troubleshoot my PC anymore. We can get him up to the third star, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there are a couple places with like two or three here and there. They're just so scattered. Scarab. I feel like Scarabs don't even deserve the beep to be honest. I'm just gonna pick them up normally and cut everything out. <laughs> beep. Okay, they get one beep, that's it. Scarabs were a mistake. That could be an underground one, I guess. Most of the others that aren't in this area are above ground, I think, so not, not enough, five more to go. I think there's like four in this area. It's a little bit of a journey, but I think we only need one more now. I kind of really didn't want to stop at 70, but dude, so many issues today. I think we're gonna stop at 70, but there we go. Fourth star. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, thank you, Jocular. I am going to be on my way, procrastinate getting the other 100 or something I need for 90 <laughs> for a while, I guess. But no, nah, probably not, honestly. I got him to C2. I obviously want to get him to 90 soon. He's technically raised. The raising portion is more just to kind of learn about his kit and stuff, so... White Tassel, seriously? Deathmatch decent? Let's focus on Sino first, though. I like to start with a 4-star for the little showcase we do. A lot of people are saying White Tassel, but... I don't know if I even have a White Tassel. Don't even have a White Tassel, I foddered it. Deathmatch is a good 4-star. This seems kind of weird, because like he has a DPS, and we're going to be looking at damage numbers and stuff but it's obviously going to be pretty mediocre. He's 70 and built not great, but as far as I know, his best set is Gilded, but also Thundering Fury is at least a close second or maybe on par, or is Thundering Fury actually better? Thundering Fury and Gilded? Yeah, the thing is my Thundering Fury set is pretty bad. Plume and Flower, I think, are all right. It has a lot of crit, which we shouldn't actually need a ton of because Deathmatch. Fury is better by very little. Usually when it's close, I have the same... I say the same thing, right? Go with what you have better stats on. Because at the end of the day, a lot of the sets are close. Unless they're, like, special in some way. It looks like Element Mastery or Attack works. We're gonna have way too much crit rate. This is already a crit-heavy set. 100.1%. <laughs> with 93 crit damage. <laughs> like I said, I don't have a very good Thundering Fury set, but this is just the raising mode anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I want to build an at least okay, generally like maybe mid, mid game sort of build. Oh yeah, right. Two wonders is the same. I think we do have decent wonders because we got so many of them. We have three crit damages. Holy hell, they're all horrible. I guess this one's probably the best. Do we have an Electro? We do have an Electro, and it's not horrible. 10 crit rate. Elements of Mastery might be better. I don't know. Actually, not bad, because like crit ratio. 84 to 162 is pretty pog, actually. He gets a good amount of crit damage from his Ascensions, I think. Dang. I think he's actually decent. We might just leave him like this. Good crit, decent crit damage. He's overall a pretty solid mid-tier build, I would say, which is what I'm actually going for. He is still C0, and I want to keep him that way for the raised. We could get him up to C2, which we're going to do for the god mode, but later. Now we're going to be raising his talents. We are, I guess, ignoring normal attack. I wanted to test that myself, but, you know, a lot of you guys seem very sure about that. Just straight up different multipliers, so his burst or his basic is pretty useless. Unless you're going to try and build him, like physical or whatever. I don't know if that's viable at all. You don't really attack with him outside of burst. Basically like Raiden, yeah. So he's more or less built. Now would typically be the time for the talent and constellation overview. That That is a little bit hard on stream. So we're going to do it off stream. Sino's basic attack is pretty standard for a polearm user. The main thing to note about this is that these multipliers are completely separate from his burst multipliers, meaning it is by far the least priority to raise. In fact, I would suggest more or less leaving it at one, unless you're sure you're going to be doing a lot of basics outside of burst for whatever reason, but in general you should more or less leave this alone. His elemental skill plays a lot into his burst. If you do it outside of burst, it's just a small little electro attack, so typically you wouldn't do his skill outside of burst, but you can generate some particles in case he's nowhere close to burst, then that's fine. Using the skill inside of burst does a lot of extra things. It increases the damage of the skill, the area of the skill, and it more than halves the cooldown. And then of course, talking about his burst, it is essentially a transformation burst, similar to Shogun, Razor, Ito. His normal charge plunging attacks will be converted to Electro. He'll gain 100 elements mastery and resistance to interruption, and he possibly has the longest transformation out of anyone, lasting up to a maximum of 18 seconds. Because also, if you do his skill inside of burst, it'll increase the duration by another 4 seconds. His first passive here is really fun, 
Basically, while you're in burst, a little icon will flash on screen. If you do his skill during this short window, the skill damage will further be increased by 35% and he'll fire off three extra attacks, each dealing 100% of his attack. So there's a little bit extra to pay attention to when playing with Sino, but I think it's a fun little mechanic. And with his last passive here, he'll basically gain some bonuses from his elements of mastery, which will increase his basic attacks while in burst mode. It'll also increase the damage of those three extra attacks that you get when timing his skill correctly in burst. Trying to explain it does sound a little bit more complicated, but it's basically more of a reason to stack a lot of elements mastery on him, plus trying to time those skills correctly during burst. Speaking on constellations, C1 is yet another reason to try and time your skills correctly within burst. Basically after using burst, his normal attack speed will be increased by 20%, and this buff will last 10 seconds, but if you time his skill correctly within burst, that duration will be reset. C2 is very powerful as well. Every basic attack increases his electro damage bonus by 10%, up to 5 stacks, and he attacks rather quickly in burst. How it's worded here, I'm not sure if this applies when he's in burst mode because it does say normal attacks, but since at the time of recording the raising showcase is already finished, we can go ahead and get his constellations here and check it out. Yes, of course it works also in burst. That would be horribly dumb if it didn't. <laughs> his C4 sounds decent as well, becoming something of a battery. Basically, in burst mode, if you're doing any electro reactions, he'll restore three energy up to five times to everyone except for himself. So a total of 15 energy to your other three party members can go a long way. His C6 sounds very strong, which is typical for an exclusive five star. In a nutshell, he'll be firing off extra attacks during his burst. These same dust stalker bolts that he gets when you time his skill correctly within burst, but essentially a pretty consistent stream of them as you should be able to keep these stacks up during burst. You gain four stacks each time you correctly time his skill and they can be launched every 0.4 seconds. In a smaller nutshell, it's a huge DPS increase. So in my opinion, C0, C1, C2, good place to stop until C6. C4 isn't worth it in my opinion unless you're planning on getting him to C6 at one point. So yeah, there's that. Back to streaming me for the showcase. Obviously we want some aggravate. Uh, Kale or Tignari because we still haven't raised Dendro Traveler yet. Benny Zhongli team and then the new character plus someone that supports them. That's just how I roll. <laughs> Benny messes up Quicken. Uh, yeah, forgot about that. What about Sara? I feel like he'll probably need some attack, at least right now, because he has Elemental Mastery Sands. Yeah, I think we'll try Sara to start, at least. Shield, Dendro stuff, I guess Quicken, and attack boost, and then he'll activate Aggravate. We can try it like that, at least. He has almost 400 Elemental Mastery, so he should be the one, I guess, to actually cast Aggravate. Sara's buff is too short, I know, but like he would get a couple good hits off, I guess. Raiden would be not bad, I guess, either. Let's do a little uh, a little quick little Masanori. I would rather give it to Kale because Sara's base attack is more import is the most important for her boost. So she has the highest base attack bow. Oh, dude, I forgot to uh, R3, my elegy. That's pretty cool. We can do that now. We had very wacky luck on the, uh, no, eh. Eh, I don't want. I don't want to keep one. I hate raising weapons. They're such a pain. And I raise every new weapon that comes out. Eh, why? Can they stack? Can you have two elegies in your team? I'm swapping everything around anyway. Swapping someone else to the elegy is the least of my worries. Can they stack? They do not stack. So then why would I keep two? If I need someone else in Elegy, I'm going to give them Elegy. I will never get to a point where I don't have to swap things around every time I want to try a team. That's never going to happen anyway. I've given up on it. I use too many different characters. That's just how it is. Swapping weapons is the easiest of that. There is R2. That would go up to uh, 90 uh, plus all this other stuff. An 125 to 150 and then attack from 25 to 30. Uh, the Abyss. Yeah, that's kind of a... Kind of a good point, maybe. Eh, all I have to do is let go now. Does it give me a confirmation window? <laughs> Someone said you have enough bows, it's not worth raising another lol, and I actually agree with that, so. There it is, R3. I do have enough bows. And I know Elegy is like very cool pog. <laughs> That's just how I am. I don't keep duplicates. I'm not gonna, I, I would never raise the second one. It would sit there doing nothing forever. I'm just not gonna raise duplicates. Staff of Homa might be the only exception because I really, really want one for Zhongli and one for Hu Tao because I often have them in the same team. I can see your side. 
It's just not my side. We're gonna do a quick little uh, Masanori run. I don't expect too much from him right now because yeah, 70, not high talents. Artifacts, I guess, are okay, but I don't know. We're just gonna start with, um, I guess, this. So I apparently have to wait for the little eye thing to pop up. I mean, we are getting some pretty decent hits in there considering everything. Yeah, Sara's boost must be gone by now, but yeah. Dang, his burst lasts forever. Bro, his burst lasts so long. But that wasn't bad, actually, when you consider everything. Let's do Kale's burst now. And I guess Sara's... No, I'm just gonna do Sara's E for now. Did we actually get Aggravate? Oh, might have an energy recharge issue. We, we might try beta or official or something. In that case, it is kind of almost pointless to have a Sara boost for the first six seconds or whatever. All right, let's just try that again, though. No, come back. All right, here we go. Let me just... We got aggravate there. Oh, no, I mistimed it. Yeah, okay, we're getting like, I don't know. 5700s for basics. Energy does seem to be a bit of an issue. Let me try once more with this team. Okay, well, he hit like four times. I think that's over 20k per per skill. Definitely not bad considering everything. My Dendro Traveler is still C0 as I haven't gone out of my way to uh, farm the stuff yet. Will that matter a lot? I mean, that would be better for energy. Well then, I'm probably just gonna give her a broken set more or less. All right, so I guess we're just going to start with that and then did, did, did we appropriately swirl it? Well then, let's just, uh, there was aggravate, so. Yeah, we are definitely getting some bigger numbers here. It's also different in, in, in two-player co-op, of course. Damage-wise, um, I mean, he is attacking pretty quick. We're getting, like, sometimes 5 to 10, and then, like, his E skill is doing quite a bit as well. Okay, yeah, his burst just ran out, and we have his burst again, so at least in this sort of situation, not bad. I think it's better to kind of test in, in single player mode. Maybe Raiden? Raiden would work. Let's head off of Masanori, I guess, for now. Go try something else. I like his overall kit, and I like the little QTE thing, but yeah, I'm mostly just looking at numbers now, and it's kind of hard to tell, because he hits a lot, especially with his skill. I think he'd be more impressive, obviously, as a uh, as a DPS, uh, like really raised. God mode? Yeah, we could do normal ro uh, rock frog. I think Sino is definitely more built for longer fights because, I don't know, he can barely get anything set up before he's going into his next phase. He has too many phases. Didn't turn out very well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try the little rock frog. I just never really showcase on him because he's annoying to get to, honestly. Okay, we can go ahead and start now, finally. All right. I'm probably going to more or less be looking at his health bar, to be honest, though. His burst is back, though, so... I don't know. I think in an actually long fight, we have enough energy, actually. Yeah, Favonius would probably be a good thing to swap. Yeah, so if I want to try, like, the Hyper Bloom stuff... I never raised a Favonius? Would you look at that? Yeah, I guess there's just, uh... I, I don't use a ton of sword users in general, apparently. I've raised Favonius for other weapons, like the spear. Maybe a bow? Yeah, a bow for sure for Goro. We'll raise it a bit, I suppose. But then we need to give Traveler a bit of crit rate also. Yeah, 40 is good enough for now. Energy recharge is at 250. F that should be enough, honestly. Eh, we'll try new Jade Plume. Oh yeah, we're trying a sort of scuffed Hyper Bloom team, I guess. Yeah, she got it really quick, honestly. All right, here we go. Uh, I didn't see what the Hyper Bloom did. Okay, let's try Raiden Boss. Are we getting any Hyper Blooms? Probably not, there's just two... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I do see some stuff blasting. Dude, stop going invisible. Oh, she's already getting her shield at about half. I mean, it's not really that fair, honestly, because, you know, when, when I'm testing these teams, I'm testing with 90s with five-star weapons, and Sino's our main DPS here. All of that considered, it's pretty good, but yeah, we're probably just gonna kill her anyway, because need the weekly mats. Everyone's burst is back, because her shield is down. Let's give it a look-see here, I suppose. Ah. I need to remember about the QTE thing. <laughs> Wasn't too bad, definitely. How I feel about him right now, hard to say. I like playing with him. He does feel a lot like Razor, just playstyle wise. A sort of a mix of Razor and maybe Ito. Yeah, the damage output is, 
I, I mean, I can't judge it really. As a DPS, that is what I'm focusing on. But at the same time, he's level 70 with a with a four star weapon and not probably not the best build ever. All those things considered, I will have to wait until God mode to really make a judgment. I would say. But yeah, looking forward to when he's finally finished. Not looking forward to the scarab hunt. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching. And until next time.